Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Sega video. We're going to have a look at the weather the next 10 to 14 days for today's Sega video day 10. will take us to the 9th of February and we'll be able to extend up beyond that. This is GFS and ECM Ensembles over around a couple of weeks. And we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And uh, I'll just well into towards the final stage of February, of course. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6am upload. So please check out uh, that video if you'd like to do that. Please like, share, subscribe on things. And thank you uh, so much. Thank you so much all of the lovely messages that you've been sending in uh, for uh, Mrs. P. She is continuing to improve and uh, yeah, hopefully she'll be back home soon. When she is, I'll make sure she gets to see all of the uh, fantastic and lovely, lovely messages that you've all been sending uh, for her. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for your kindness and for your generosity. Thank you for all of the feedback on yesterday's video as well about where we go next with the long range and, you know, uh, winter updates eventually. Um, so, so yeah, you know, uh, taking on board everybody's uh, everybody's uh, comments and so on. And, uh, and, and, yeah, you know, there'll be, there'll be um, not announcements, but I'll let everybody know what we're going to do with the long range and so on in uh, the next few weeks. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for all of the feedback. Right, OK, I think we should crack on then. So we're going to start off having a look at the Arctic Oscillation. So this is how the AO observed and broadcast is currently looking. Remember, the Arctic Oscillation is just an index that's reflecting the atmospheric state. It does not drive anything in its own terms. It just tells us what the atmosphere is doing. So when the AO is in its positive phase, we'll have low pressure over the Arctic and over the North Pole. When the uh, AO is in its negative phase, we'll have high pressure blocking over the Arctic. And um, blocking high pressure is the route getting cold air out of the Arctic and down into the mid-latitudes. So currently, you see with the uh, with the uh, AO by the black line shows where I've been with it, and the red line where GFS and Sabers forecast where it's going to go. So back up in the early in the early, earlier part of winter, anyway, like um, uh, mid. Uh, December into Christmas, we had a negative AO. That's when we almost had a very cold uh, Christmas. Most of Northern Europe did have a cold Christmas. Since then, though, the Arctic Oscillation has been in its positive phase. We're around neutral with the uh, AO at the moment. I'm going to go a little bit negative. going to go negative uh, with the AO in the opening days of February, but not for long. Then we have a positive Arctic Oscillation getting uh, going. So that's like a mild signal. Uh, really, it's a signal for a relatively strong uh, polar vortex, which will drive uh, you know, Wesley's and zonality. The NAO is very similar. So again, the NAO observed and forecast shows that we are positive right now in a positive phase with the NAO and the GFS ensembles forecasting the NAO to stay solidly positive right way into towards the middle of February. You know, so I don't have any deviation uh, in terms of the NAO uh, there. So when we've got the AO and the NAO both in their positive phases, this is a signal for zonality. It's a signal for westerlies and so therefore a relatively mild westerly Atlantic driven possibly rather more unsettled but certainly atlantic driven and zonal um you know uh, uh spell is likely through the first half of february Setting temperature is uh, still sitting at 5.1 that's 1.3 degrees uh above average that is provisional to uh yesterday to the 30th of uh, january i think that's going to come out somewhere between 4.5 and uh, 4.9 after downwards correction, we will uh, corrections. We will find out tomorrow how that comes out. These are the uh, GFS uh, upper air temperature absorption ensembles uh, for the next couple of weeks. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. It's only up below average at the moment. Uh, uh, we are having a little bit of a cooler snap today. Uh, relatively mild over the next couple of days and a bit cooler towards the end of the week. Very mild potentially into the weekend. And then after that, just solidly slightly above average, to be honest. Uh, Precipitation-wise, not really much aware of precipitation over the next few days. The spikes do increase so a little bit as we get into the second week of February and around the middle part of the month. So that's a slight trend towards more unsettled weather. But to be honest, that still looks pretty dry. You know, certainly up until the end of the first week of February. Like The first week of February looks like it be rather on the drive and average side. Two metre temperatures are looking like that. So a little bit cooler uh, today, but they're going to go very mild for a couple of days midweek. Uh, then cooler again towards the end of the week. Then generally quite mild. You know, there's no sign of anything particularly cold uh, coming up. As far as the snow uh, row is concerned, very, very little doing there, except you know, that one spike that we see uh, just there. Other than that, you know, um, <laughs> it's a bit of a dead glass, to be honest, uh, for snow. Let's have the ECM ensembles to look at, which we now 
can now show you. So again, starting off again, looking at London, and the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So again, starting off below average at the moment, it's going quite mild in the next couple of days, and a little bit cooler around the end of the week, rather milder again. Uh, we can into part next week, and then just hovering rather above average. Just a little bit more scattered in there because there's more ensemble members. I think there's 50 ensemble members uh, with with um, e with ECM to go, whereas the GFS, I think it's 30 ensemble members. So you expect to see more spaghetti, uh, and, and that is what we see there. But overall, the trend is clear, and it's relatively mild with a few uh, deviations here and there. Precipitation-wise, again, loads of dry over the next few days, and perhaps getting a little bit more unsettled further on we go through to February, uh, through February. But, um, but yeah, you know, no sign of anything overly dramatic going on. Temperature anomalies from the 31st January to 8th February are above average through most parts of uh, Europe, particularly, um, you know, Western Europe as well. So UK, Ireland, above average there. Precipitation anomalies from the 31st January to 8th February. A bit wet average west of Scotland. Otherwise, most of the rare is still significantly drier than normal, particularly so for England and Wales. Let's read from that from Earth. North School dot net shows the reason we're having this little cold snap is that we're pulling in wind from the uh, northwest. But uh, we're going to find winds backing into the west again as we go through the next few days. That will drag milder air back in from off the Atlantic. Let's have the latest UK Met is looking. UK Met Euro uh, for midnight on Thursday. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic Ocean. That could bring wet and windy spell uh, through first. Could be some quite heavy rain in down to south east. Behind that it goes colder briefly with winds in from the northwest. Then we back wind into west southwest again as we go through the weekend. So it turns milder. Becomes very mild potentially by the time we get through to 7th of February. So as we go to with the UK Met, we've got high pressure over France. We're dragging in some very mild southwesterly winds. This is how Icon is looking. So uh, again, um, you know, a little bit of a cooler snap around Friday. Might even deliver some snow showers to the north, but it's going to be very brief. And then we're back into relatively mild west or southwest winds. Everything dries in from off the Atlantic up to the 2nd of February with high pressure to the south and again low pressure away to uh, the northwest. GFS Midnight Run is also looking mild and zonal. We've got high pressure over France, low pressure around Iceland on uh, Thursday. There is a little bit of a colder snap from the northwest around Friday, but very, very quickly we'll back into those west southwest winds. And uh, we just keep the Atlantic driven stuff going, you know, right way through to the middle of February. We get 16th of February with the GFS today, and uh, it's all sort of driving in from the west. GFS 6Z again uh, brings a cold snap around Friday. Friday might deliver some snow showers in the north, but overall it's very Atlantic driven. High pressure over France, low pressure over Iceland and Greenland, and in come those west southwest winds. There is, a, is an attempt there around the 11th of February, that's 276 hours just beyond day 10, an attempt to build some higher pressure. Um, but, you know, it comes to nothing, doomed to fail uh, as more low pressure rattles in the Atlantic. We do try and get a Scandinavian high go, but again, that is uh, just doomed to fail as there's so much energy in the Atlantic. So it's all driving in from the west, from the Atlantic, up to the middle of February. It remains relatively mild. The GEM is really like that. Again, a little bit of a cold snap around Friday. as this cold from pushing southwards and eastwards, and then we go through into the weekend, and we back wind into west southwest. It's going to be mild over the weekend, and this Atlantic German stuff carries on all the way up to day 10. Oh, day 10 is the 10th of February. Sorry, I thought it was the 9th of February, but it's the 10th of February. Um, right, ECM as well. So high pressure over France, low pressure around Iceland and Greenland on Thursday. Uh, and then in come the westerlies. You know, the driest way will always be in the south, close to the high pressure. Wettest way will always be in the northwest. But um, I think there will be a little bit of rain going through to the south at times. Uh, however, the main thing is that it's going to be relatively mild. No sign of anything doing whatsoever from a cold perspective. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Twitter. Now on Friday, Thursday to Friday, we might bring a cold front and some rain even into south southeast. Once it get, that gets out of the way, go to that cold snap zone. So got these snow showers sort of piling into the north and the west and uh, the northwest. Um, and then after, but it's a sorry brief cycle, like one day wonder. And then after that, we're into relatively mild conditions again um, with uh, rain at times in western areas, a little bit going through to the east, not much, and some wintry showers at times again for northern and western Scotland. Uh, oops, sorry, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensembles today for day 10, which gets us to the 10th of February. 12 members of the ECM Ensembles looking as flat as pancake, high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, and inner coming those westy wings. 11 again with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, and inner coming those westy wings again. 
Another uh, and that does improve the operation run, by the way. Uh, another 11 here with high pressure centered right over top of coach. So obviously, that's more anti cyclonic scenario. Nine again with high pressure over slightly to the east of the coach. Again, lots of dry weather in with that. And then eight again with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, and winds in from a relatively mild westerly direction. So it'll either be mild and dry, or it'll be mild and unsettled, or it'll be mild and dry in the south, and, and mild and unsettled in the north. The upshot is, it's going to be mild. Winds are going to stay from the west up to day 10. In two weeks' time, uh, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 15th of February 27. Members of the East Ham also have a large area of high pressure then, over top of the coach. That can be quite spring-like, actually. Uh, you know, sun will be, start, be starting to get a little bit of uh, warmth, a little bit of a kick, to the sun by the middle of February, so that could bring, you know, a little bit of spring warmth, especially by day. Nights could still be cold, of course, but um, by day, uh, that could bring, like, temperatures into teens Celsius, hopefully, uh, maybe, and then 24 with low pressure in off the Atlantic, and they're bringing in, like, a westerly flow, rather more unsettled with those. So it's actually a 50-50 split as to whether we're high pressure or low pressure dominating at, uh, in two weeks out, 15th of February, but what we can say is that there's no sign, even then of anything cold. There's no high latitude blocking whatsoever. So as we see finally, uh, these are 500 mm of our height spring down into week beers. The first week beer takes us from the 31st of January to the 6th of February, the coming week with low pressure in from the north, high pressure pulled out into the Atlantic, not relatively Atlantic driven, and the most unsettled weather will be in the north. Week 2 will be the 7th to the 13th of February again. Low pressure will be to the north, high pressure will be to the west. Winds will be coming in from the westerly direction, relatively mild and mostly dry down in the south. Week 3 will be the 14th to the 20th of February. Again, with high pressure over and slightly east of country, low pressure away to the northwest. Again, just doing something a little bit like that, mainly dry and potentially very mild with that spring light, potentially. And then uh, week 4 is the 21st, 27th of February. High pressure will be to the south, low pressure be to the north and winds again they'll be coming in from a westerly direction no sign of <laughs> no sign of winter there and in fact we would say probably early spring uh this year right if you enjoyed the video please just smash the like button make sure you sub to the channel thank you so much for doing that don't forget to tell your friends about guys where it is it's amazing incredible thank you so much and drop a comment let's know what you about missing all of our videos Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, we're done then uh, with today's video. So just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. Uh, all being well. 6 a.m. upload and then the EC uh, European Outlook for the next uh, 30 days slash six weeks. And, uh, of course, a 10 to 14 day as ever. But uh, for today's videos, get the webcam up. today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.